Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I know, I know this video is a couple days late. I'm really, really sorry. I've been so stressed out lately and I've had exams and stuff to do. So this was the only time that I could finally sit down to record and I'll be better at trying to record these things on a weekly basis. It's just this week a lot has been going on. But anyways, let's just jump right into the video. So it's been about a week and a half since I started my lifestyle change. And why am I using air quotes? Since I've started my lifestyle change and it's been going really, really well. So I've been eating 80% uh, like a vegetarian based diet and then the other 20% would be kind of like when I crave meat then I'll eat some meat or something like that but I haven't been craving it often which is surprising because I thought that that would be the breaking point of this uh, change for me and I have not missed meat whatsoever um, so let's jump into I guess the changes that I've seen happen okay so first off a rough summary so I am on this 80% vegetarian and 20% other diet where I try to eat as many vegetarian meals as I can and then the other 20% is when I feel like eating some sort of meat, fish, poultry, whatever, then I still indulge. So uh, that's been going really well. I have not been feeling any cravings or feeling like I've been depriving myself of meat, so I'm happy with that. Um, I also said that I wanted to start working out every single day. That did not happen due to my schedule. It was extremely hard to be able to do that, mostly because of like studying for exams and stuff like that. I was so stressed, so I didn't want to work out or like the time that I could be working out, I was just like, I, I probably should study. So I'd say that instead of working out every day, I worked out five days straight, took a break for like two or three days, and then I worked out the rest of the days until today. So. I wasn't able to work out every day, but I still have seen results in working out as often as I did. Um, let's start with the results. So, physical results. Um, I have seen a change in my legs. I do suffer from cellulite. It is gross. And um, that was one of the most insecure things about my body, well to me. And um, like I couldn't wear tights or anything of color, like I could only wear black tights because I could see the dimples through the tights, like that's how bad they were. And now like slowly but surely they're going away, which is actually really great considering that I've only been working out for a year, a week and a half, and I've seen a change already. I'm really happy about that and I'm looking forward to, you know, getting rid of that. Uh, another big thing that has happened, less bloating. So I suffer from major bloating and because I guess I don't have any core muscles, like it just, it looks really, really bad. So lately I've noticed that I've been bloated less and I think it does have to do a lot with me not eating meat as much. So I'm really happy about that. And it's to the point that now you can actually see my oblique muscle outlines and a little bit of the ab that I used to have, of course, is still covered by a layer of fat. You know, I still have a fanny pack, but I am seeing changes. Um, I'm also seeing changes to my strength. Like before, I couldn't even do five push ups without my arms cramping up, and now I could do five good push ups. So I'm hoping that I can get to 30. I'm also working on trying to do my first pull up. I've never been able to do a pull up, so. My goal is to do five by the end of this year, so that leaves me about a month and a half, so I'm excited for that, but that really has been the only physical changes that I've seen or the ones that I've really cared for. Uh, those were my major problems and I'm happy that uh, after a week and a half I've been able to see results and it just makes me want to push to see more results non-physical changes emotional changes i find that i'm more alert i find that i have more energy even my boyfriend has commented on it where he's just like you just you're more active you you have more of more energy and stuff like that and the fact that he notices that clearly it must be that big of a change that other people can see it so um and i've even noticed that in the mornings i wake up before my alarm whereas before i'd hit snooze so many times and now like i wake up before my alarm and i start getting ready for work and i don't feel tired at all like i don't even nap throughout the days anymore which is so rare because before i'd look forward to running home just so i could take a nap now i have so much energy like 
I think clearer. I have like so many thoughts going through my head. I don't feel as sluggish. I don't feel gross. And even the way I carry myself now, I carry myself better. Even my posture has improved a lot. And I find myself engaging my core a lot more, which is good because A, it makes you look slim, and B, it kind of just allows you to give yourself an abdominal workout without, you know, really working out. So I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, those are the non-physical changes that I've noticed so far. Again, it's only been a week and a half. Uh, things that I want to change and goals going forward. So uh, I do want to decrease my intake of dairy and uh, replace it with other things. I think I do have a bit of a lactose intolerance, so I think that is a big part of why I'm so bloated. So I'm trying to replace my yolk, my regular dairy yogurts and milk and stuff with almond milk and coconut yogurt, coconut milk and stuff like that. So hopefully that will help me out a lot. Another thing I'm trying to do is cut back on the coffee. So I went from drinking two to three cups a day to now drinking one cup a day and then just uh, drinking tea throughout the rest of the day and surprisingly like I'm not having any withdrawals I'm not feeling bad about it I actually with one cup I find that it gives me enough energy to last me throughout the day so I'm happy about that but I do want to try to decrease it to the point that I'm having at least at most one cup of coffee a week so like maybe on a Monday or something just to get my week started kind of like a treat if you will so that's something else I do want to change I also want to incorporate the gym because I've started to see changes. I do want to start tightening and toning because there are certain parts of my body that I'm not looking to lose weight on. I just want to tone. So my legs and my butt and stuff like that, those areas, I don't really want to lose weight so much as to just tone and make everything perky and as well as my chest because when I was speaking to my uh, trainer, he did say that my, uh, my chest muscles, like they're stretched. So... I just want to work on tightening them up and also lifting the girls a little bit, you know what I mean? And just starting to tone my arms. Like, I don't want to just lose the weight and then start toning. I want to do everything all at once. So, I'll definitely try to incorporate more working out, more gym in my uh, regimen, which I think I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I just, I am feeling much better. I find myself eating less meals. I find myself getting full faster, which is amazing. And I stay full longer, which is amazing again. Like, I'm just happy with all these changes. And the most important thing to me is the fact that they don't feel like something that I'm trying to change and incorporate in my life. It just feels like a smooth transition where this is something I could see myself continuing with. It's not a fad diet. It's not something that I'm going to get bored of. It has been such a smooth transition that it makes me excited to continue. So I will definitely keep you guys updated. Unfortunately, the before and after pictures that I wanted to take, thanks to Mother Nature, you won't be able to see the results that I was able to see yesterday. So um, I guess you guys will be able to see a picture on week two of my updates. So it'll be, a, I guess, a bit more of a drastic change because all you could probably really see is just my stomach looks like this much smaller and everything else. I don't think you could really see that much of a change. So, but I really wanted to take a picture, but it's not worth it. Like I'm so bloated. It's not, it, it makes no sense, but I will definitely incorporate one in the next video. And if you guys have any suggestions for any dietary tips, workout tips or anything like that, please let me know. And